UK Employers Sponsor License Sponsoring Work Visas for United Kingdom Takeoff Immigration Services Are you UK-based company looking at sponsoring skilled foreign workers? If so, this video in a series on this subject is for you. You'll usually need a sponsor license to employ someone to work for you from outside the UK. This includes citizens of the EU, Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway and Switzerland who arrived in the UK after 31 December 2020. This includes unpaid work, like running a charity. You will not need a license to sponsor certain groups, for example, Irish citizens, those with settled or pre-settled status under the EU settlement scheme. Those with indefinite leave to remain in the UK. Sponsoring someone does not guarantee that they'll be allowed to come to or stay in the UK. Both the employer and potential employee must meet all of the strict UK VI job suitability requirements and individual immigration history and status. Eligibility to get a license. You cannot have unspent criminal convictions for immigration offenses or certain other crimes, such as fraud or money laundering. Had a sponsor license revoked in the last 12 months. You'll need appropriate systems in place to monitor sponsored employees. UK Visas and Immigration UKVI, will review your application form and supporting documents. They may visit your business to make sure you're trustworthy and capable of carrying out your duties. Monitoring of employees. You must have HR systems in place that let you monitor your employees' immigration status. Keep copies of relevant documents for each employee, including passport and right-to-work information. Track and record employees' attendance and contact details up to date. Report to UKVI if there is a problem, for example, if your employee stops coming to work. Changes to your business, you must report any significant changes in your own circumstances within 20 working days, for example if you stop trading or become insolvent, substantially change the nature of your business are involved in a merger or takeover. You must also tell UKVI if you're changing your details, like your address or allocated roles. Types of license, the sponsor license you need depends on whether the workers you want to fill your jobs are workers for those with long-term job offers or temporary workers. You can apply for a license covering one or both types of workers. Worker license, a worker license will let you employ people long-term or permanently. It's split into, skilled worker, the role must meet the job suitability requirements. Intra-company visas, this includes intra-company transfer, and, intra-company graduate trainee, for multinational companies which need to transfer established employees or graduate trainees to the UK. Minister of Religion, for people coming to work for a religious organization. Sportsperson, for elite sportspeople and coaches who will be based in the UK. Temporary Worker License A temporary worker license will let you employ people on a temporary basis. It's split into creative or sporting worker to work as a high-level sportsperson up to one year. Entertainer or artist up to two years. Charity worker for unpaid workers at a charity up to one year. Religious worker for those working in a religious order or organization two years. Government Authorized Exchange Worker, Work Experience, One Year, Research Projects or Training, for example Practical Medical or Scientific Training, Two Years, to enable a short-term exchange of knowledge. International Agreement Worker, where the worker is coming to do a job which is covered by international law, for example employees of overseas governments. Seasonal Worker, for those coming to the UK for up to six months to do farm work. Sponsorship Management Roles. You need to appoint people within your business to manage the sponsorship process when you apply for a license. The main tool they'll use is the Sponsorship Management System SMS. Suitability Checks. You and your staff will be checked to make sure you're suitable for these roles. You may not get your license if anyone involved in sponsorship is not in good standing with the law. UK-based legal representatives. You can allocate any of the roles to a UK-based legal representative, apart from the authorizing officer role. Your representative must be qualified to give immigration advice or services. Takeoff Immigration Services is accredited for this function by UK Home Offices OISC. Apply for your license. You or your representative need to apply online for your license. 
Once you've finished the online application, you need to submit the submission sheet at the end of the application. The supporting documents. Application fees for the home office applies. Most applications, 8 out of 10, are dealt with in less than 8 weeks. Remember, UKVI may need to visit your business. You may be able to pay an additional £500 to get a decision within 10 working days. You'll be told if you can after you apply. Your license rating, you'll get an A rated license if your application is approved. A rating, full sponsor license. An A rated license lets you start assigning certificates of sponsorship. You must assign a certificate of sponsorship to each foreign worker you employ. This is an electronic record, not a physical document. Each certificate has its own number which a worker can use to apply for a visa. Your business will be listed in the register of sponsors. Immigration skills charge, you might have to pay an additional charge when you assign a certificate of sponsorship to someone applying for a skilled worker or intra-company transfer visa. This is called the immigration skills charge. You must pay the immigration skills charge if they're applying for a visa from outside the UK to work in the UK for six months or more. Inside the UK for any length of time. When you do not need to pay, you will not pay the immigration skills charge if you sponsoring someone on an intercompany graduate trainee visa. You will also not have to pay the charge if you're sponsoring someone with some of occupation codes, how to pay, you pay the immigration skills charge when you assign a certificate of sponsorship to the worker. How much it costs. The amount you need to pay is based on the size of your organization. How long the worker will work for you, using the start and end dates on their sponsorship certificate. Once a certificate is issued you can start the recruitment process which is also subject to meeting the criteria set by the home office. That might include for certain type of jobs, 1. Advertising the job in the UK and only if you fail to find a suitably qualified resident of the UK and Northern Ireland you can apply to sponsor an overseas candidate. 2. Issuing a certificate of sponsorship cuz this process is on a separate video please note not all jobs qualify for sponsorship this is further explained in a separate video as you can see so far this process is complex and expensive you need professional advice from accredited firm with good reputation who are there to assist you until you successfully land your first sponsored worker in the uk takeoff immigration services has discounted all inclusive packages available Customer Services Office plus 442032838742 Support WhatsApp plus 447309076819 Signal plus 447309076819 Telegram plus 447309076819 Info at TakeoffVisa.com Please subscribe on our channel to get the latest updates on the UK Work Visa Programme.